Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for mid-May. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you, right? It's not. And the timing is fluid and people, you know, I'm going to mention this because I get comments people don't understand. They watch it on one day, okay? They watch it one day and it doesn't resonate that day. I mean, you got to use your common sense when watching these readings. It doesn't, just because it doesn't resonate the day that you watch it doesn't mean that it's not going to resonate later. This is for mid-May to the end of May. It could resonate now, but it, it may not. And then again, not every reading is for you. So, I mean, I'm, I, I hate that I have to mention this all the time, but we get these people. I don't know if they're newbies or what. Um, not every reading is for you and the timing is fluid all right so this is what could happen what might happen you know and it may or may not be for you Leo Sun Moon rising and Venus what do we got divine timing is real and that's another message that you need to hear Leo divine timing is real I did Virgo before I did yours, and I got a comment on the Virgo reading. How come you didn't do Leo's? Do you not believe in divine timing, or what? There's always a reason. I just... For some reason, I don't know why, I was told to do Virgos next. There's a reason why you have to wait for things. You may not know the reason, I may not know the reason, but there's a reason Queen of Pentacles reversed. <laughs> oh my goodness. This may be, you know, this is a this is somebody who is hot headed, somebody that is suspicious, somebody that is jealous, somebody that is not grounded, somebody that's not reasonable, somebody that's not practical, somebody that is irresponsible, somebody that doesn't have their shit together, doesn't have their money in line. Maybe we got somebody here, and this could be you taking on this energy because we all have Earth in our chart. You know, this is somebody who is insecure, probably in more ways than one. And you can point the finger at another person all you want, but that's not going to get you anywhere. Ten of Cups. This is making a decision. Choose wisely. Make sure you have all the facts. I feel like you guys have come a long ways. You've been, you know, you're determined to find happiness. But you may not be being practical. You may not be being grounded, you know. you got to be practical here. Rushing into something isn't going to get you anything long term. might lead you to dead ends. You get dead ends by rushing. I don't know where this message is coming from. These are just cue cards for me. My messages come from above. You guys are in a hurry. You are in a hurry. You want it now. Now. Um, 
this is making progress though this is moving you're headed in the right direction you are headed in the right direction but you have to master your emotions you got to be practical victory and success is coming it is coming for you but I really feel like you need to slow down this is getting yourself stuck trapped in situations that hurt you so for mid-may 10 10 10 completion 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 so you probably have some sort of cycle in your life that is coming to an end. Maybe if you've been single, you know, and you haven't been able to have a successful relationship, that could be coming to an end. You may be getting into a relationship, a new relationship. You could be getting into something that could last, that could become stable, solid, and secure. You're probably going to have to make some compromises. This this Eight of Swords is, is stuck, trapped in some sort of mental turmoil. Could be over trying to prove a point or trying to prove yourself in some way. Now, this is good news coming in. So you could be receiving something, some really good news from somebody or an invitation from somebody that moves you in a new direction very quickly. But I really have to tell you, you got to be practical here. Be practical. I see an exciting opportunity for you. I do. There is an exciting opportunity for you, but you need to... You're probably going to have to make some compromises. You're going to have to probably learn some new things, do some new things. This is you wanting to do it right now. Move fast. This is fast action. You guys do move very fast, and I see that you want to move very fast. Which leads to dead ends. <laughs> it does. It leads to dead ends. See, that's a dead end. So you need to, I really feel like you need to slow down. Observe. Take time to observe before you jump into a relationship. Are you sure it's practical? I feel like you guys make instant decisions that aren't practical. And they lead to dead ends. I'm sorry. That's what I see. So I feel like you get overly excited. You jump, you leap, you rush, you, you, you put the pedal to the metal. And then you get yourself into a situation where there's no teamwork, there's no collaboration, there's no respect. It keeps you stuck and then you get your heart broken. Oh God, the two of cups reversed. Yeah, it doesn't lead to partnership. And I know what it is. It's like you want this relationship so bad. You want this happily ever after. You want this family dynamic, right? You want it and you want it now. Speeding leads to accidents. We have talked about this before. Speeding in anything in your life, moving too fast leads to an accident. Now... I feel like you guys are on a mission, right? You're on a mission to find wish fulfillment. And you want it now. 
So I feel like... <laughs> You need to take a step back. You need to observe. You need to take that blindfold off and make sure that you are looking at, looking beyond the surface. Make sure you aren't getting yourself into a trap because you are in such a hurry for wish fulfillment. You're in such a hurry for a relationship. Make sure you're being practical. Some of, you, some of you guys, you just want this happiness so bad that you're not seeing things clearly. You may be jumping into things with blind faith. This is a card of listen to your inner guide. Believe in yourself. Follow your own path. Ask for guidance and actually listen to it. When you, you know, ask for, this is like a guidance counselor, ask for guidance and actually listen to it. You may not, you may not want to hear anything negative. You only want to hear the positive. That's not reality. I just feel like there's very impulsive energy here that gets you guys trapped in partnerships that don't work out because you leap, you jump, you move too fast. So anyway, you know, I feel like we do have an opportunity for a successful relationship here. We do. If you could if you could take time to observe Choose wisely. Beware of the consequences of your choices. Take time. Be patient. I feel like there has been, somebody has walked away from a relationship. They may have moved. You know, somebody has walked away or they will be walking away. The Two of Cups reversed and this is leaving. The Eight of Cups is leaving a relationship. This is a completion, the end. Somebody may be leaving a relationship because it wasn't compatible. But I do see that there's an opportunity to come together with probably another fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. There's an opportunity to come to some come together, but in divine timing at the right time. This is a card of divine timing when the time is right. You have to believe and you have to trust in divine timing. Don't rush. I think rushing has got you into painful situations. This is making progress. Finding confidence to move forward. This is recognition. Recognizing. Being recognized. For who you are. I think you're looking for recognition, right? You want some recognition. You want to be recognized. Maybe you're looking for some attention. Maybe you need some attention.
but you may be resisting change. You may get yourself into dead ends because you want love so badly. But anyway, I do feel like there's an offer of love coming. There is some sort of love coming. There could be a reconciliation coming. A reconciliation with some somebody that you ended it with before. Maybe you've had an ending with somebody and there's a reconciliation a coming back together with somebody. That's what I think this is. Could be another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Anyhow, I feel as though there's, there is some sort of happiness that is coming, a happy relationship, but it's after you recognize that you have to wait for the right time, you have to be practical, you have to be logical, you have to slow down, you have to allow, you have to surrender, you can't push. I think that this is a reconciliation with somebody that you have a bond with already. Unable to let go of this person, whoever it is. I think it's somebody that from your past. I do. Somebody may have been been you know, stop trying to prove a point to this person and now they want to reconcile the relationship. They, they acted impulsively getting into another relationship and that didn't work out and now they want to rectify the situation. I don't know where that's coming from. But anyway, I feel as though... <clears throat> There's a reconciliation here. There's a rec I think it is. I think it's a reconciliation with somebody that you have been committed to before. And there's been no growth in another relationship because there's a reason why there was no growth because you're supposed to come together with this other person. <laughs> Whoever that is. I don't know. Yeah, there's unfinished business with somebody from your past. That's what I see. So I feel, Leo, as though... I think you can expect the unexpected. I do. I think that you can expect the unexpected. You may receive some sort of um, communication from somebody that maybe they left you or they moved away or something like that, and there's an opportunity to reconcile a partnership. That's what I see. That's what I think this is. I think the time it's time to come together. It's time to come together with whoever this is. I think it's somebody that you know. I think a relationship failed in the past and there's an opportunity to come back together and, and maybe even marry this person, like get married. This is like the perfect opportunity for marriage. Um... But I do see you let it, getting out of a relationship, too. Getting out of a relationship that wasn't meant to be, that you probably impulsively jumped into. Which is crazy shit, I know, but that's what I see. So there could be coming together with somebody that you are probably a really good match with. Really well suited for you after maybe getting dumped or ghosted by the wrong one I don't know who this reading is for but I see I see you heading in a new direction um, towards victory in success with a partnership that is better suited for you I think it's a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius that's what I think So anyway, that's what I have for mid-May. Good luck.